Hi, welcome to another video. So, today I want to introduce Zoer for anyone who's new here, and then I'll show a full, updated flow of building something end to end with the three things you guys asked about the auth login component, nano banana image generation, both text to image and image to image, and the Stripe configuration plus the actual payment flow. Basically, what it does is let you describe an app in plain English, and it builds the database, backend, frontend, and even deploys it. Plus, you can operate the app by chatting with it, which is kind of cool. It's very similar to combining Lovable for UI scaffolding, Supabase for database and auth, and Netlify for deployment, but bundled up and automated. The best part is that it's live and usable right away, and if you want, you can sell your finished app on their marketplace, which is quite awesome. So, there's that. Now, quick background. Zoer is aimed at shipping full-stack apps fast. It's not just code generation. It's the whole thing. Auth, database, integrations, and deployment. And for developers, having a database-first approach is actually pretty good because it avoids the usual UI-first mess, where you end up wiring APIs later and breaking stuff. All right, let's jump into the demo. I'll build an AI headshot generator because it's a practical CAS idea. It showcases AI image features, and it gives us a clear hook to demonstrate payments. First, head to zoer.ai, and you'll see a prompt box. I'll type Create a web app called AI Profile Pro. It must have a user authentication system. Once logged in, users should be able to upload a photo. The app must integrate the Nano Banana AI model to generate a different professional headshots from that photo. Finally, integrate a Stripe payment system for users to buy credits to generate their new headshots. You can attach up to five screenshots if you want it to match a specific UI style maybe a Figma mock-up you like, or a design screenshot from another app. That helps Zoer analyze layout and color palette and produce something closer to what you want, which is kind of cool if you don't want to hand-tune CSS. Now, it asks you to configure visibility and integrations. For visibility, you've got public or private. Public is discoverable and remixable, and it can show up in the Zoer market. Private keeps it for you, but you'll need a premium plan for private projects, which is a fair trade-off if you're doing client work or internal tools. For integrations, turn on authentication. That automatically enables Zoer database because auth needs secure storage. Zoer database is a managed PostgreSQL, so you don't touch servers. You can also enable file upload, which allows your app's users to upload their own images, like the profile picture they want to convert. Definitely toggle on Stripe payment since we're doing a credit-based app, and enable AI image generation with Nano Banana. Now we build. Zoer follows a database-first sequence. It sets up tables like users, user uploads, generated images, and wires auth before cooking up the UI. I actually prefer this flow. Schema first avoids weird issues later. Okay, the build is finished, and we've landed in the app preview. But before I even click on the app itself, I want to show you the soul of Zoer. Let's click on the database tab right here in the Zoer dashboard. Look at this. Zoer has already intelligently designed our entire database schema based on my prompt. We have a users table for the authentication, a user uploads table, a generated images table, and even a table to track credits. This is what database first truly means. The foundation of the app is built with the UI, not as an afterthought. Now, let's check out that app preview. Here's where the auth login component shows up out of the box. You'll see two options, Google login, and email slash password registration. It also includes email verification 
for new signups and a secure password reset flow. The nice thing is, Zoer handles those emails on its own, so you don't need to configure an external email service, which is quite awesome. For admins, if you're signed into Zoer with Google, you can just click Continue with Google in the App Preview and you're in as admin immediately. If you prefer email slash password as admin, use your Zoer account email, then click Forgot Password the first time to set a password, and you can manage your users directly from the Zoer database panel, which is handy for debugging without bouncing between tools. Let me show the app's features quickly. I'll upload a test photo, and now I'll go to the generation page to start the AI process. If you want to tweak visuals, you can just type in the main Zoer chat on the left. Change the generate button to a bright orange color, it will update the UI, which is pretty good for fast iteration. Now the nano banana part. First, text to image. I'll open the image tools page and type a prompt. Generate a clean logo for Profile Pro, minimal layout, soft natural lighting, 4K, high detail. I'll run it, and you'll see images appear with a credit cost per generation. Then, image to image. I'll upload a reference photo, the one the user provided, and type. Generate one professional headshots based on this image in a clean corporate style. Run it and compare before after and no API keys are needed. The Nano Banana integration is pre-configured by Zoer and ready to go. It's completely out of the box, which is incredibly convenient. You just enable it, and your app's users can start generating images. Zoer even bills the usage directly to your Zoer credits, keeping everything simple. Okay, Stripe integration time. First, go to your project's control center then Integrations. Find Stripe Payments. This pop-up shows the three keys you need. Publishable Key, Secret Key, and Webhook Secret. For this demo, we'll use Stripe's Sandbox Test Mode. Go to your Stripe dashboard and turn on Test Mode. In the Developer section, click API Keys. Here are your Publishable Key and Secret Key. Copy these and paste them into the Zoer pop-up. Next, we need the webhook secret. In the Zoer pop-up, copy the endpoint URL Zoer generated for you. Back in your Stripe dashboard, go to Developers and Webhooks and click Add Endpoint. Paste the URL from Zoer. For events, I'll just select all events for this demo. Click Add Endpoint. Now, find the Signing Secret section and click Reveal. Copy this key and paste it into the webhook secret field in Zoer. Hit save and you're all set. Now, let's test it. I'll go to my app's pricing page and click purchase. It redirects me to the Stripe checkout page. I'll use Stripe's official test card. Add a future date, any CVC, and click pay. The test payment is complete. That's a fully functional payment system set up in just a few minutes. They also mention custom domain support is coming, which would be great for branding. If you want to monetize the app or template, publish it to the Zoer market, set a price, and other users can buy or remix it. Sales show up under My Apps and View Sales History, and payouts are handled through Stripe. Honestly, this is something I have really wanted going from idea to monetized product in one place. So, quick thoughts. Strengths. The auth login component is turnkey and production ready with verification and reset built in, which is pretty good. The database first build keeps things stable. The nano banana integration for text to image and image to image is super cool. And the credit model is straightforward. Stripe integration is practical with separate test slash live environments and fulfillment defined in plain English. You also get full code access on paid plans, which matters if you're planning to extend 
or self-host. For building and deploying a real full-stack app quickly, it's insanely good. I mean, I liked it. I really liked it and have been using it. That's why I thought to share it with you guys as well, especially with the auth, images, and stripe flow tightened up. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via super thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.